A bill in the Pennsylvania House would allow workers on strike to receive unemployment benefits, but many lawmakers are not willing to get behind it. Sonica Bargo joins us now live to break down both sides of this issue. Sonica. Valerie, the bill passed committee along party lines. The bill sponsors say this is about strengthening workers' rights, but some lawmakers worry it could give employees an unfair advantage. Workers have rights. They should be able to access them. That's the motivation behind a bill sponsored by two Allegheny County Democrats, Representatives Dan Miller and Mandy Steele. What we are looking to do is find ways to strengthen opportunities for workers' voices to be heard. The bill would allow workers on strike to collect unemployment benefits. That they could still be able to pay their bills a little bit. But it faced strong Republican opposition in committee. We are now going to be extending new benefits and we don't yet have a way to pay for that. Miller says workers already pay into the unemployment system, so funding isn't a problem. It's what we're doing is we're giving them access to their money. So how do those workers feel? I'm all for that bill. Victor Martinez works for the local union representing Mack truck workers on strike in Dauphin County. Well, I think a bill like that will kind of give us the upper hand. Plus, we'll be able to take care of our families. He says this will give workers more leverage in negotiations. With the unemployment, we could be at basically our full rate. So that would advise the company, well, we need to get back to the bargaining table. But some lawmakers feel that's an unfair advantage. Unions will feel emboldened to extend strikes to the detriment of taxpayers and communities. And will hurt the negotiating process. But if we're paying people to stay home, we're eliminating the need for them to even want to come to the table. But Miller says workers today start at a disadvantage. This is about leveling the field. This growth of these corporate anti-union lawyers that have made exercising labor rights more and more difficult for American workers to do. Um, so what we are trying to do is rebalance a pendulum here. I asked Representative Miller if he's concerned about his bill's future given that Republican opposition. He tells me he's confident Democrats will support it and he hopes some Republicans will cross party lines. Live at the state capitol, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.